Hey, buddy. Got out here. So nice to finally meet you. Do I look weird because I got a mask on? This isn't what I really look like, okay? Hey, everybody. Say hi to Stone. Stone, you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi guys. Are you ready? Say hi. Say hi everyone. He just got done pooping. Huh? He's just looking at my braids. You gonna say hi to everyone? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, bless you. We're in Stone's private room. Yeah. Tell us more about it, mommy. It's, um, what are the amenities it offers? Well, it comes with its own rich, uh, what is it, bed? <laughs> it comes with its own single bed. He has Netflix up there where he watches all his shows. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Then he has his bring his family pictures up there just to remind him of who his mommy and dada and sister is. Mm -hmm. And then he's got his specialized sign that they put up. Yeah. Then we got a food warmer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like his own personal microwave. And then he has his Sub Zero refrigerator over there. Then he has recliners for his visitors. Ooh, look at these recliners he's got set up here. And Stone loves the ladies, so like the nurses are like spoiling him, and you know, aren't they spoiling you, baby? Today he peed on one of the nurses. That means he likes her. That's his favorite nurse. Yeah, he gets to bond with all the nurses, yeah, at least yeah. a few days at a time. Up here, we have his specialized TV slash monitoring system. It beeps, it tells him whenever his numbers are a little off what they'd like them to be. Right now, obviously, it's not going off. The blue number is the quality of the oxygen he's inhaling. And so when you have 100, that's the best that you can do. The yellow number is how fast he's breathing, like how fast his lungs are going. If he gets excited, it can jump up to like 100 or more. And then the top number is his heart rate. Ah, look at you, you're so content. You just ate. Yeah. So what the fuck, thank you. I'm going to continue to show you guys. We have the car seat. The reason we have a car seat in here is they do a car seat test. They put them in there and then they make sure that he can sit in there for 90 minutes without having any sort of breathing issues. And he did a-okay. So he passed his test and uh, he's gonna be able to come home now. Mm -hmm. Isn't he so adorable? He is. I'm feeling so blessed that my baby's coming home tomorrow. It's been a long journey filled with a bunch of like, just ups and downs, um, little wins here and there, some sad days not having him home. Um, our experience overall has been, I'll say a blessing, even despite everything. Um, with Kenzie, we had her home five weeks after 
she was born. However, with Stoney, it took him up until his due date. As much as we can tell you that we're in the same shoes and we support you, we understand every, every parent's and child's journey is different. So remember just to stick together, uh, get help from family. If you need a uh, pick me up, um, you know, look for outlets uh, to communicate with each other and ultimately just know it's gonna be okay. Um, there'll be hurdles that you have to cross and get over. Uh, Celebrate the small wins and just like take care of yourself. Like your health, you wanna be at your optimum health to be able to be there for your child and um, through this journey. Also, you're, you're a kid's best advocate. You see your child and you hang out with your child a little bit more than the doctors and the nurses. So you see, you know, how they react to certain things. Um, speak up, don't be afraid. We knew early on that he was probably reacting to something in my breast milk or the formula that they were mixing the breast milk with. Um, we mentioned it a couple times, but we let it just like die down. Um, but then we spoke up and once we spoke up, we told him we didn't want him on my breast milk. We don't want him on the formula to switch it all together because he was refluxing. We, we knew something wasn't right. As soon as that happened, he took a turn for the better. Um, it was like almost a different baby. And so just it makes me feel kind of guilty too because I could have had my son home sooner. But um, I'm glad everything happened the way it did. We, it was a learning experience for us, but yeah, just be your child's best advocate. Yeah, my wife has definitely been uh, on top of the WebMD searches and um, the Google uh, world as far as grabbing information. It could be your worst enemy too. We Google can, can be scary, so. Even the nurses uh, at the hospital commend you for uh, voicing your opinion around your child. Uh, to make sure that they get the best personalized care. Otherwise, hospitals will tend to use a systematic approach uh, to addressing symptoms and, and go along the same process with every NICU baby uh, until it's necessary to make changes, like absolutely necessary. We were making the changes in the process uh, because we could tell that it needed a change, um, but the doctor was following their protocol, so they didn't want to change quite yet. Hang in there, mommies and daddies. We know like it could be stressful. Take care of yourself um, so you could be able to take care of your kid. And before you know it, you'll be doing that car seat test and getting your little one home with you. So um, if you have any questions, like drop it down in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to have answer your questions. Um, on like our experience. He's knocked out now, he just ate a little bit more. So he's sleeping. Oh, 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 he opened his eyes a little. He's like, I'll see them tomorrow. <laughs>